he literally just said we have no solo. I destroyed my lane, no solo. God damn, let's wreck some havoc. We didn't wreck havoc. That's four people, we're fighting four people now. Get out of here. Oh, hello Hades, I forgot that you exist. I'm sorry. Discordia, what are you doing? Why are you still here? You should not be here, my girl. Oh, that was a good save. But you're dead now. Am I dead too? I might be? Nah, I'm fine. What is up beautiful people, it's Saladin here, welcome back to my channel, today we're playing Bologna in solo lane against what looks like a Hades, and we're being all sneaky and shit, I gotta get a stack on our warrior's blessing, there he is, Jesus, Jesus is an army, hello Hades, get smacked, he doesn't have a warrior's blessing to stack up, that's pretty good for us, so it's ranked conquest, masters ranked, uh, we're playing Bologna. Um, my go-to solo laner, definitely. I want to point out that he has no blessing. Hopefully our jungler pays attention to that. It's a really easy gank. Just gonna harass and bully him a little bit. He's gonna heal all that up in the next wave easily. We kind of try and apply more damage. Yeah, just a little bit that he cannot handle. Oof. Should be at the blue buff, to be honest. Kinda overextended a little bit. And Erlang didn't wait. Well, I usually don't wait myself, so I cannot be mad at these people. But yeah, <laughs> it's it's annoying from the standpoint of a solo laner. What was you gonna do? Wait for him to heal up, and then we start engaging. And applying that damage for the next wave for him to be more spooked. Trying to hit both me and him. Uh, the wave and him. Oh man, you are way more damage than you think. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't have that jump yet. Mm, there he is. So now he can clear that wave as fast. Zoned him out completely. Wait, I didn't say that just now. What is this? Who just said attack right lane? Was it Nox? What is that? That's that's weird. It felt like a VGS. By the way, Hades just went to the base without the teleport. He's gonna lose so much of that. It's not even funny. We are level three and a half, he is just level two. I mean, Bologna called it. That's what I'm saying, like, did I? <laughs> what is this shit? I don't think I did. Oh, he's attacking me with that jump. Nah, man, you should be getting out of it. I'm still amazed by what's happening with the VGS. Ah, oh, didn't reach with that. He obviously heals up the full amount. Too much damage from the wave. We need to pick up our blue buff here. I wanted to engage because... Oh, that was close. I still have a teleport, so whatever damage he applies to me, it's not gonna kill me. Oof, that was closer than I wanted. But that's the point. I got enough gold for the shield, and now we can back safely. Without losing anything.
nothing is reaching he has a fucking blink why oh my god it's a soul leader with a blink no teleport mage no blessing did he just yeah he, he did he no he didn't i guess he recognized the fact that we're coming Return to base. Yeah, he just returns to base? No, he didn't. What you doing, my man? Want a piece of that? Yep. Good gangs. Finally, a response from jungler. Way sooner than I actually expected. So that's a great job by the jungler. No offense here. Suddenly on point. He got a little bit of farm, got the ult, came in, we murdered the man. Now I'm gonna just bully him out. Yeah, I'm okay here. Other lanes have trouble, so he should be there. I'm just gonna zone out the Hades at this point, bully him out of the lane, bully him out of experiencing gold, and have a good time. And Norlan can safely focus on other lanes. I'm not gonna have any problem with this Hades anytime soon. I just have to keep in mind that he can ult and kill me, so I should keep my one intact. And my ult to maybe disengage. I should only ult when I know I can kill him, basically. Okay, what is this? Nox has, I, I assume Nox has the same voice actor that the Bellona has. So that's really freaking me out, like as if I'm VGSing, but I'm not VGSing, you know? Stop attacking them. I'm just gonna bully him out of his mind. What you doing, my man? Get slapped. That's the point. I kind of have enough sustain. Just keep him engaged. Keep him constantly poked out so he will be afraid and he will have to do the, this, this basically. The only thing that he can do. Otherwise, he will have options. If I keep him poked out, his only option is to go on the wave and heal up. He's losing another blue. We're gonna basically destroy his self-esteem. Can finish the totem here quite safely too. Now he doesn't want that. Keep poking him out. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Hmm, good silence. Yeah, he's still healing too much, but when I get boots, I'm gonna be able to kill him pretty easily. Just need to bully him out. Throw his morale out. He got him back for full boots here. Gotta get a word, put down, make sure that we don't lose control over the wave. What you doing? That's mine. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing, my man? Definitely not taking my totem. Oh, you did that. Oh, you got the totem. You're so good. Get out of here. An enemy has been taken by the darkness. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. We got the boots. We can kill him pretty easily right now. Ward up aggressively because that's where we spend most of our time. Nox. Calling for attack is <laughs> still pissing me off. It's the same actor and she didn't even pretend that those are different characters. Every time she throws any VGS, I can swear that I just did that and it and it spooks me up. Yeah, we're on the fun part of the solo lane right now. He has no TP, he's been an idiot and we're just zoning him out. Oh look what you got. You're upset, so you're gonna just walk in here like that, huh? 
You got to just walk in here like that. I'll get the damage. No, that's not how it works, my man. Not anymore. Now we're standing here. Oh, you do not realize that you're dead, right? <laughs> what is this? This man's upset. I know that feeling. Like, he's upset. He doesn't understand why it doesn't work. He's been playing against bronzies. He got thrown. Oh, look at you. What you doing? I'm gonna throw this down and then I'm gonna fight you. Are you okay with that? No, she's not okay with that. She's running. So... He played against some golden boys, he doesn't understand how the solo lane works, he saw that one trick, like, oh, Hades can insta clear, he does that, it doesn't work, because I understand what he does, he gets upset, he just rushes into the wave, basically intentionally feeding at this point, and he lost the tower before the 10 minute mark, so, there it is. Definitely ganking uh, Discordia here. Oh, she juked me out. Okay. Am I dead? No way. I think I am dead. No, no, that's not even remotely enough damage. I can kill this Cordia here if she walks up. Ah, it's gonna break my back. Hades is rotating way too late. I don't understand what is happening. Why people are harassing each other. There's really no reason for that. We're like ahead. We're double the enemy kills. Hades is gone. He's not a presence in the game anymore for the like next 20 minutes. What is wrong with these boys? Why are they upset? That's why I don't like playing solo lane, man. We're winning so hard. Nobody is able to pay attention to the rest of the map. The only thing about the... Oh, he, was... he didn't finish that. I actually gave it to him. Nobody was paying attention to like the, the rest of the map. Everybody's looking not further than their nose. So they kind of upset with something. The guy's playing a Nox support and he's upset. And the worst part of it is that I feel that I'm VGS in this bullshit so hard. He literally just said we have no solo. I destroyed my lane, no solo. God damn. Let's wreck some havoc. We didn't wreck havoc. That's four people. We're fighting four people now. Get out of here. Oh, hello Hades, I forgot that you exist. I'm sorry. Discordia, what are you doing? Why are you still here? You should not be here, my girl. Oh, that was a good save. But you're dead now. Am I dead too? I might be. Nah, I'm fine. We still got all the kills though. Okay, solely fine. I got a little bit ranty here because Nox is not being reasonable. Just mute Nox, not pay attention. That's exactly what I did, what I recommend to everyone else. And we're still having a good game on our hands. We're 3k ahead, a lot of kills, a lot of presence on the map. I lost most of my tower to minions, which is big in Forge, which is a big yikes, but. Hades is in mid, trying to be useful while he isn't. We're definitely gonna join this now as soon as we grab our blue. Oh, Hades. What are you doing, my man? You want this blue, don't you? Oh, it's not gonna happen. Oh, it's down. That's most of your health again. What you doing? I don't know. He's backing. Enemies have returned to base. Do they actually believe they can sneak past me? That just means we're going straight to the right jungle and taking the gold fury. Tactical fury. On my way. Attack the gold fury. I'll defend. On my way. Hello, Sobic. Hello, Discordia. All in a rub. Just getting these thorns out. Doing a lot of havoc. We get gold fury for that. Orlan tried to join that fun, but he didn't. That was a really good play by Orlan. Taunting them inside the silence. Holy shit, that was sexy. Straight up teleporting to that tower. 
Hmm, that's a wasted teleport, isn't it? I mean, was able to survive. Return to base. Cancel that. Gonna go straight for that purple, I guess. I can benefit from some attack speed. What you doing? I wanna fight you. You don't wanna? She doesn't wanna. There's Sobek in the right lane, Paley in the right lane. Rotating for the squad. Yeah, let's see what we can get. No worse here. They don't expect me coming. I miss my ult. I'm garbage. He missed this block too, so. We got his ult. He gets nothing off of that. Just, uh, only us disengaging, which we kind of already did. Peli should be caught here. She's pretty fast, but not fast enough. Did that ult not hit? I thought it, it would hit. No, it did hit. That's great. Hachi's out of position here. That's his ultimate. Slowing him down, keep popping him up. Pretty easy stuff. Oh, meanwhile, my tower is going down, looks like. Aiden is being an ass. AFK push bot. My ult's coming up. I can think of jumping on that Discordia. My tower is intact. It actually has one hit, but they still do not get this experience in gold, which is nice. Did we hit her? I think we hit her. Where the hell is she? There she is. That's my thorns. She's dead. That's hot. She's still thinking that he can kill me. No, you can't really do that. Well, unless I'm alone, which I am. I chilled it out. We still got the Peli. I will ward. Attack the gold fury. Enemies in the left lane. Gonna tank up that gold fury. Oh, hello, Peli. What you doing? Oh, I did stun her. Let's count that I did. <laughs> that didn't work though. Why would you ult that? There's no reason to do that. That's a wasted ult. I kind of wasted mine as well, but it's gonna be up in one minute and I was on point. She just ulted through it. But we still got the gold fury for free. Nobody died. Hachi got killed somewhere else, I guess. I wasn't paying attention. Looking for Discordia at this point. She's the one that I can harass pretty good. I can always force her jump. Ooh, Pelly is behind us. Trying to murder her. Going for Pelly here at all times because that's more important. Oh, she heals so much. Damn. The right tier one went down to the minions to the Ani wave, which isn't bad. The left tier one, they lost half HP for that. But Discordia was there to finally defend it, so we still got a significant damage in the objectives. We got some return, a little bit of comeback, 5k back, which isn't good for us. Let's see if we can ward something. Let's engage her. It's fine with this. Maybe she throws something out. That'll be... Yeah, you, you cannot destroy the wards faster than Nizanami does it. It's just impossible. Ooh, not bad. Kinda just poked out. Ooh, we forced his ult. That's more than enough. DFG is available now. Sobek cannot walk in safely anymore. Oh, 
Okay, I want as a stunner to force her ult. We did that before. And unfortunately, Morgan was out of position and she still died because she decided to face tank the, the running away jungler as a mage. Her line looks like it's covering the right, uh, the right Phoenix. Hachi should back at this point. Hopefully he's not gonna get uh, killed one versus one. But so far he wasn't showing that he can do that. <laughs> it is just blink, I don't know. Like, <laughs> there's nothing to commend there. We need to disengage hard, but Nox is pushing in again. And Izanami is following her up, which is dumb. I don't know why my team is all the way up there. Three people versus five. Just chilling on the enemy part of the map. No minions pushed up in any lanes or whatsoever. This game became a clown fiesta way too quickly for me to respond. Are we gonna adjust? Let's just YOLO people here. Discordia seems like a good option to YOLO. No, just I would rather get out honestly. Yeah. Don't wanna die and throw the game actually. It's still ranked. I'm not that kind of person. They're not paying attention. Discordia just jumped for cooldowns. We're going on the ADC with Thorns up. Should be pretty good. Raking havoc here. Making them confused. Got the Hachi and Sobek for that. They had to split between two things and they couldn't. Also, it was a choke point, which worked out really good for me. I'm a couple minions away from 20. I need to pull this down. We're top damage. 5, 3, and 11. 16 kills participation out of 28. Oh. We did save her. But we still got the Peli for it. I'm gonna tank this a little bit. Because our Nox support has this dumb build. Need to go for Life Phoenix. Sobek and Hades are coming up. Hachi's coming up again. Hello. Just gonna keep her engaged. Keep her busy. There she is. Yeah, she has. She has to do that. And... Yep. Phoenix is going down. Now we simply disengage. Make him ult. That's good. I knew he would if I didn't dash immediately. That's so stupid. Body block the buff. Grab the buff. Get out. I don't know why Nox is here, but it doesn't matter. What you doing? I can't kill you, remember? We already been through this. Well, that was just stupid by me. <laughs> That's so dumb. They're the same actor. She's not even pretending to be something else. She just does this like... Uh, so annoying. I mean, I love this. Both voices are great, but like... It feels like the same character. Oh my god, the Morrigan is getting jumped again. Can I stop this? I cannot stop this. Transform into something good. I can kill this man too? Oh, that's four people who are fighting. Meanwhile, I think they got the Hades, did they? They didn't. We're chasing Discordia here, making her uncomfortable. Tanking a couple more hits, avoiding the Scordy ult. The Titan is getting damaged quite heavily too. And we get the last Phoenix off of that because they have to back off. This should be game. I'm gonna focus on Hachi here. He's the deadliest force. If I get him, we're gonna close this game. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Gotta tank this. Gotta full commit. Unfortunately, I have no thorns, but it's already too late. 
Orlang does a lot of objective damage at this point. I'm top damage, sweet bejesus. Alright, in terms of builds, I am going into Berserker Shield. Pretty viable item on Bologna. You get it as fast as you can, so you rush it with the Warrior's Blessing, obviously. Don't ever do that dumb bullshit in Hades uh, that Hades did with the Bankrupt start. No blessing, no teleport. You're gonna get molly whopped, especially considering it's Master's Ranked Ranked. Master's Ranked Ranked. Yeah, that's a thing. It's Master's Ranked, and you don't do this because you will get noticed, you will get abused. He also goes triple lifesteal on the healing character, which immediately results in everybody, every single person building anti-heal, which actually did not happen. I'm building anti-heal, which is not a lot. Erlang Shang knocks completely ignored with her bullshit weird ass build. Morrigan should have been Divine Rune, instead she went Desolation Spear, which is actually a worse item. I don't know, man, but we kind of won, we bullied him, he has triple life, so we should all have anti-heal at this point. In terms of kill participation, uh, we are 19 out of 32, which is very, very good. Only our jungler and support have more than that. Comparatively to the enemy Hades, obviously, he's nowhere close. Well, I don't even, just don't do that, that's bad, that's all of it, I just don't know, even know where to start, all of that is bad. And in terms of damage, surprisingly, I'm top damage, shouldn't really happen in the solo lane to be honest after like 20 minute mark but it's 29 minutes into the game and <laughs> i'm quite significantly top damage the next in line would be our izanami and anime pele and yeah that's that shouldn't be a thing uh, comparatively obviously to the enemy hades we out damage him almost triple the amount we out toward him to boot which is kind of bad we have more kill participation and a lot more impact than he ever will have. Comparatively, our ADCs in player damage are Izanami doing a great job. Not very focused on the objectives, not as uh, much as I would like her to. But she has some significant structure damage along with Erlang Shen, so I guess I'm not gonna complain. The word coverage isn't really there. It's 20, 30 minutes game. And she's on par with the enemy Hachi, and 7 wars is kinda not enough, she have, should have at least 10. But maybe she just didn't back enough, I don't know. Our support is not a support, it's a bullshit build, troll pick, and master's rank. I hate this man, and I hate everything he does, and screw him. Comparatively to the enemy Sawback, he out damaged him almost twice the amount. Didn't outward him, obviously, when you build Boomba's Mask, you don't want to build wards. Sobek did a good job, was pretty impactful, but yeah, they were kind of significantly behind. And all thanks to this man and myself, the Erlang Sheng did a very good amount of damage. Actually out damaged by Peli, but it doesn't matter, he put down the most amount of wards on the field. And he was really impactful, burning, out, burning down people, I saw him doing that. He was one of the main reasons, alongside myself, why we won this game. And yeah, that'll be the video. That's Bologna Solo, my go-to solo lane. Probably I feel like I play Bologna and Solo more than anything else. She's just so good. She's very comfortable. She's not broken. She's not OP. She's not bad either. She never was bad. At some point, she was pretty broken during the release, like many, many years ago. Then she got certain buffs and nerfs, and the items were changing. She got the flavor of the months a couple of times, but overall, she's just she's an agony of a solo lane, you know. She does a lot of things. She's good with sustain. She's good with being aggressive. She's good with killing the carries if they step out too far and drop their cold kits, so you can just toss them around. She's good at killing ADCs, which is extremely important late game because of her one and the ability to build thorns and slows and the disarm on her three. You basically rotate between disarms and the blocks on your one and ADC cannot really box you until like extremely late game, which is really important because one of the main objectives why you build a whole laner that way to kill either the mid laner or the ADC. And if the jungle is also auto attack based, that's even better. And yeah, just play Bologna. Bologna is awesome. I recommend Bologna to anyone who wants to start playing solo lane. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell helps YouTube algorithm to show my content to other people, which is much appreciated. And also helps you not to miss the new videos if you enjoy my content. If you like the video, thumbs up on it. 
it has the same idea pretty good very free for you just do it it's awesome if you want to ask me a question leave a comment respond to every single one and as always hope to see you in the next video guys have a wonderful day